A transverse wave on a rope has wavelength lambda and period t. The graph shows the variation of the displacement of the particle of the rope. Whoa, 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 hang on the English. So this graph is displacement of the particle of the rope with distance. Okay, so this, whenever you see the axis here says distance, it's basically a snapshot of the wave. Like if I swing the string, this is what you see. So this is a screenshot or a snapshot of the wave as it is. Okay, so you imagine that this curvy shape is slowly moving to the right. right. Ah, slowly moving to the right like that. It's moving and moving and moving. Okay, so what we need to find is on this wave, there's a particle X right here. Which graph shows the variation of the displacement of particle X with time T? Oh man, okay. Let's do some animation here. So I'm going to trace out the wave originally. It's like that. Now let's say I move the wave to the right a little bit. Just a little bit. So it goes like that. Okay. Now waves on a particle can only oscillate up and down, right? So this particle X can only be along this dotted line. So the next position that it will be now, now that the wave has moved to the right a little bit, is that now this wave particle will go down here to the bottom. So it would have gone down a little bit. So now it's a new position of X. Okay, so imagine the wave is moving to the right. The particle is just riding the wave. Okay, so that's the first clue. Whatever choice we choose now, all these graphs are in time. We just said that the particle will move down first. So, let's write that out. X moves down first. So if you look at all the choices of the graph, which one is going down first? C looks okay. A and D is definitely out because you want a particle to move downwards. Okay, next choice. So is it B or C? Let's see, where did it move down? Move down from where? If you notice, the original position of X is at equilibrium position. So I should clarify here, it moves down first from where? Where do you start off? Equilibrium position. What is equilibrium position? That is right here, where the displacement is zero. So this is the final clue. Downwards from equilibrium. So let's look at our choices here. Mm, downwards from equilibrium is this one here. Okay, you're going to start from equilibrium. And then the particle moves down. So best choice here we go with is C. B is not correct because you see where we start off, we're at some amplitude maximum displacement there. Okay, so remember there are two graphs that you must know in waves. One is in terms of distance. One is in terms of time. Displacement against time. And if you were to put them side by side like this, the one on top is displacement, distance. Down here is displacement, time. So if you look at the orange wave on the top, it's just the orange wave moving to the right. And the wave particle here is just bouncing up and down, right? But if you look at the graph on the bottom, this, you will notice, we are just watching this particle go up and down in time. We're just saying, uh, plot a graph. Show me, this particle is moving up and down. Okay, so you see the bottom of the graph. We are just following the particle going up and down, but just tracing out the displacement against time graph. Up here is the actual wave in orange color. The particle is riding the wave. Two different graphs, huh? don't confuse both. Try out some more questions similar to this, and you'll slowly get the hang of it. Okay, I think that's all for this question.